This is a 2011 Buick Enclave. It has the GM 3.6 liter direct injected V6 and I installed this catch can on it here for the PCV system. I got this catch can off Amazon for around $23 currently and surprisingly it's built pretty well. It has its own little dipstick here that you can remove to check the level inside the catch can there and I'm just going to show you guys how I hooked this up here if you want to install these on your side. So remove this engine cover here and for the full air side which is this one marked by the the in mark here I just used 3 8 inch sheeter hose from O'Reilly Auto Parts, routed that down between this intake duct here along and under, then back up on that vacuum hose and then back all the way going directly on this PCV, the stock PCV valve and the fitting. Um, I did modify this PCV valve, there's lots of videos on that on YouTube, I could link one of them. Drilled the top hole to 7 64ths and bottom two holes to 5 64ths so then the engine can breathe easier. That's a problem on these, these carbon up and get clogged and then the engine sludges up which that's not good. So. That'll make the engine breathe easier, and <coughs> this catch can here will make it so this intake won't carbon up because this is direct injected. There's no fuel injector spraying on the valves to clean the intake valves off. It's just the gas is directly injected into the cylinder. So then all the foul air here, all the oil vapors, moisture gets caught inside this catch can. Then I just routed this also 3 8 inch hose, heater hose here for the output of this catch can just around here and then straight on to the, again that stock fitting. I didn't have to modify this one because that's just the return but yeah I just rounded that through there, made sure the sizes are correct on the hose, make sure they fit on these fittings here and clamp them. Um, how I mounted it was just got this little scrap piece of aluminum I have here, sandwiched it between this the bracket for this auxiliary brake booster here, put a washer on it, used aluminum so then it doesn't rust. You could also use stainless steel, but we'll see how the aluminum works. So yeah, this is how I mounted it pretty much. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.